So now, y'all, this is how we want to set a problem like this up. We want to set up a matrix as we did earlier, and we're going to put these vectors in. We're going to say 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and 1, 0, 1. And in this solution vector, we're going to make 1, 2, 3. Okay, because we're trying to see how many X's, how many Y's, and how many Z's of each vector can we combine to create the vector 1, 2, 3. And it's no guarantee. Sometimes we can't, sometimes we can't, just like we're talking about that football team. So now we still want to use our elementary row operations. We still want to try to get in the row echelon form. So our first step here, I would say negative 1, row 1 plus row two to give me a new row two, and that would be my first step into trying to get in the row echelon form. That would give me, and I'm just going to repeat this top one, that would give me what? Zero, one, negative one and one. Remember, that's negative one plus one is zero. Zero plus one is one. One times negative one is negative 1. Negative 1 times 1 plus 2 gives us 1. And now we still have our next row. Now here, if we remember, we're still trying to obtain our row echelon form. So what would we say? I would say negative 1 row 2 plus row 3 to give me a new row three. Now remember, these other rows will not change. Negative one times zero is zero, plus zero is zero. Uh, negative one times one is negative one, plus one gives us zero. Negative one times negative one is one, plus one gives us two. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1, plus 3, which also gives us 2. And now we are able to see that we have obtained that row echelon form. Remember, this is that triangle that we've been talking about that we're looking for. Once we find row echelon form, <clears throat> we're able to solve it. So we're able to use the back substitution that we've been looking after. So we're going to say... 2z is equal to 2 from the bottom row. Therefore, z is equal to 1. Now, working ourselves, working our way upward, we're going to say y minus z is equal to 1. z is equal to 1, so y minus 1 is equal to 1. So y is equal to 2. And then working our way upward as we've uh, been doing before, like we said, we're going to say um, 1x plus 0y plus z is equal to 1. x plus 1, uh-oh. I'm running out of space right here. I'm going over x plus 1 equals 1. So x would be equal to 0. Yeah, I had to get over here to save time. I mean, save space. I'm sorry. So basically, our answer would be what? The vector, yes. 0, 2, and 1. So if we want to check our answer, Yes, so yes, we can make this combination. So basically, if we want to check our answer, we would say 0 times 1, 1, 0 plus 2, 0, 1, 1 plus 1, 1, 0, 1 would give us that 1, 2, and 3. And we could go through and check the math. We could say 0 plus 0 plus 1. Yes, that would give us 1. 0 plus 2 
plus 0. Yes, that would give us 2. And now 0 plus 2 plus 1 gives us 3. So we know that our answer is correct. So that's just an example of how um, we want to find the linear combinations and see um, if these first three vectors, are, is there any way that we can make that combination? Now, this is no different than mixing paint. If you're trying to make uh, baby blue from a the RGB color place, you would need certain combinations. And without that combination, you don't get baby blue. You may get um, a sky blue, all right, or what's called a power powder blue, which is very close, but still not the baby blue that we're looking for. So when you're doing this, you always have to conceptualize uh, what's going on with these problems just to get a better understanding. And even though we're doing this, do not get away from the row operations and the row echelon form. Uh, that we learn when we're trying to solve uh, these matrices.